Hey there, it's Adam here from Tesla Australia. Welcome back to another video. Well, uh, I've just gotten back from the, well, I'm actually on my way back from the Tesla Owners Club meet. Um, but I had a bit of an idea for another video to kind of shoot on the on the way back. And, and to be honest, I've, I've actually been meaning to, to do it for a long time. But because I've had such big issues with autopilot, um, which you've obviously know if you've been following this channel for, for a while, I've just never been able to, to get it to get it shot and, and it's really been kind of frustrating me that at the time I, I actually wasn't able to kind of go through and, and actually shoot the video. So I thought now that autopilot's fixed and working, I thought it might be a really good opportunity to, to actually shoot this video that I've wanted to do for quite some time. So what I want to do today is is I'm heading back home. I'm, I'm traveling along the Pacific Highway uh, probably about, I don't know, five minutes or so away from, from entering the motorway. but for anyone that knows anything about sort of autopilot and navigate on autopilot specifically that i guess the sticker on the box says that it's meant to be able to drive from freeway on ramp to off ramp sort of unaided uh, i think most of us that have had navigate on autopilot from the beginning here in australia have have kind of gone through some struggles with how it's worked in many instances it, it kind of originally it couldn't take exit at all and, and it was having issues with lane changing and it would it would kind of move out of the exit lane into the right lane towards the end. But I think now Tesla's had a really good kind of amount of time to, to go through and actually improve autopilot here in Australia. We've had, oh, I've lost count of how many software upgrades since we originally got Navigate on autopilot, but I'll, uh, I'll add a screenshot actually of, of kind of the software updates that I've had on my car since I've, since I've owned it, but it's been many. So, Today, why not give that a test? So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm going to literally turn on uh, autopilot on the entrance way to the M1 motorway, as the, as the sticker on the box says, and see if we're able to go the entire length of the, the motorway to my exit without having to override or, or deal with the car whatsoever. Now note, I will need to adjust kind of speed zones um, that that won't sort of happen automatically unfortunately at this point in time hopefully as Elon mentioned not too long ago we're not too far away from from that happening with with I guess automatic speed sign recognition um, but I will have to make some sort of minor adjustments to, to speed zones just because of of the way the motorway works and some road work zones and and kind of reduced speed limits etc so I'm really hopeful that the car can do it uh, so join me on this video and we'll uh, we'll see how far we can get with the car on autopilot. Okay, here we are entering the M1 motorway. Now I am going to just wait until this merge area has ended, uh, which there's no one coming now, but again, I'm not sure why it does that silly indicate as the, uh, as the car gets on the motorway. But uh, here we go, we have navigate on autopilot uh, enabled. Uh, right now, we can't actually change lanes just because of the, the solid, uh, unbroken line. Uh, so the car does want to move across, which now we can actually safely do so. Uh, which that's done that really, really well. So I guess a, a check in the box for freeway entry. That worked really well without issue. Just going to adjust the speed up now because we are out of the roadwork zone so we've now got 110 kilometers per hour i would expect the car to indicate to move over which it has done and that also worked really well lane change which was good moved out of the passing lane without an issue whatsoever all right approaching probably close to halfway along the m1 um, i am kind of cutting the video just because 
you probably just don't want to sit here and watch me driving even if I do kind of speed it up. So I am kind of cutting it into relevant segments just to just to kind of show you what's kind of going on. Obviously, if I have to jump in and and kind of take over or, or make any sort of massive changes, um, I'll let you know of, of kind of what happened and, and, and certainly why. Um, but so far, all's been really good. I mean, this afternoon, the weather's cleared up really well. It's a gorgeous sort of wintry afternoon. Um, sun is shining and it's uh, really, really nice. A really nice weather to be out and, and driving in. But but so far, autopilot is doing everything as advertised. It's uh, it's working, it's working really, really well. So uh, let's uh, keep going on the homeward journey. So I just wanted to jump in with a bit of an update, maybe just more of an observation in terms of something new that I've kind of seen in in maybe this version of software, perhaps maybe even 2020.16. I've found that. The car's a little bit more patient in terms of when it wants to change lanes. So those of you might remember that Navigator on Autopilot, if, if it detected a car kind of a slower than you, uh, that was in front of you, it would kind of just indicate and want to change lanes. And if there was a trail of five cars in the fast lane, then you'd just sit there with your indicator on and, and kind of look like you want to come across. What I found in, in this version, and, and again, maybe 2020.16 as well, is the car seems a little bit more patient. So I just had an instance whereby I was in the middle lane, uh, Navigator on Autopilot was on, uh, a car in front of me was traveling maybe three kilometers under the speed limit, and I slowed down to kind of match their speed, but at no time did the car indicate that it actually wanted to, to kind of change lanes into the fast lane to, to kind of overtake or, uh, or or move past them. But what happened was when the, the two cars that were in the fast lane were kind of further ahead, the car then indicated that it wanted to move across and pass them. So I think, I think there is something in their software whereby, again, the car is kind of realizing based on the on the on the camera on the side of the car to, to basically just wait if there's, if there's a stream of cars and then kind of don't be impatient and kind of uh, want to move across so just a bit of an observation I'll keep a bit more of an eye on it um, but if you've noticed that on your car maybe comment below and, and let me know what you kind of think if you've if you've seen that behavior as well uh, in your Tesla with navigate on autopilot I'd be very interested anyway uh, about 20 kilometers to go until we go off the exit but so far things are amazing working really really well all right, we are about two and a half kilometers away from my exit, and uh, I guess those of you that have seen my previous videos, you will know this exit. This is uh, this is the one I normally go to on my kind of tests after new software. The car right now is indicating that it wants to move across into the left lane with about two kilometers to go, which is really good, and it's moving across now, which is perfect in my opinion. I I love two kilometers out. Uh, a lot more than than kind of one or one and a half so really good job there that worked really well um, I guess the next test is going to be the exit now traditionally this exit like I've said to you before has kind of taken a little bit rough uh, I have had some instance, instances where it does take it as a lane change which is somewhat smoother but the car does get confused at the start when it does choose to do that uh, but when it does take it as an exit, it does generally take it quite rough and, and it is quite a bit of a, a jerk off to the left and then a then kind of a uh, a recentering to to kind of get back into the lane. So not sure what we'll get today, but we will give it a crack. We're just a couple of hundred meters off. Should see the indicator gone in a second. And yeah, pretty much pretty much the same. Maybe slightly better than what I've what I've seen in the last couple of tests, but overall pretty pretty damn pretty damn acceptable. Uh, I guess it, it is a it is probably a little bit of a hard thing to do when you're thinking about kind of AI and models and, and things like that and, and plotting user data into what is kind of a um, what is kind of a lane change. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess not too bad, not too bad. We're just going to disengage here to go off the actual exit itself uh but yeah that was that was pretty good so i guess was was the 
Uh, was the car doing what it says on the box when it comes to navigate on autopilot? Well, absolutely, yes. Uh, it did work very well. Uh, in no instance at all did I have to jump in and, and correct anything that the car did. Uh, it just continued to, to do its thing and, and work. Like I said, I did make uh, sort of manual speed adjustment changes when we were in kind of road work zones and things like that. But that was the extent of it. Uh, I didn't need to do anything else when it came to controlling the car. I didn't have to jump in. I didn't have to brake. I didn't have to handle any specific lane changes either. So really, really happy with how that works. So, and the thing is, is this is only going to get better. Uh, the the software is only going to continue to improve as it gets more and more data. So I think we're in for a really good show when it comes to autopilot uh, in the future. So. Uh, what did you think? I'd love to see your comments in terms of uh, that that little test. Now, again, I did kind of cut it. Uh, again, I didn't want to, to kind of paste the whole video and, and kind of just have you watching skimmed up content. But hey, if you want to see that type of content and you want something unedited and, and uploaded, obviously sped up, uh, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it if that's something that you all want to see. So um, as always, uh, if you like this video and you got this far, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Again, thanks to all the subscribers that have uh, come across to the channel in the last kind of couple of weeks. There has been a bit of a burst of subscriber numbers, which is which has been amazing. So thank you so much. It's uh, it does mean a lot to know that you are all uh, coming across and, and kind of watching my content. So I really do appreciate that. Uh, as always, again, thanks so much, and I will catch you on the next video. I look forward to it. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.